Today on Live a Legends podcast, I have false church attacker, Evan Castillo, uh, one of the best finishers I've seen in the high school level for a long time. Uh, Evan just uh, uh, led his team on an amazing comeback, scored a hat trick, overcame a 3-1 goal to a tough Centerville team, beat him 4-3 to remain undefeated. Edwin, nice to meet you. Thanks for doing this. No, nah, thanks for having me. I mean, it means a lot to have me on such such a platform. Oh, sure, man. Well, you deserve it. I've been following you a long time because my, my son played high school with Justin Melly. So I watched mm. I watched all your highlights when you guys, I think you won nationals for your six team. Um, but we, we, we can get to that. I wanted to talk to you first. You've been playing high school since your freshman year. And you, because uh, I remember uh, that was my, my son's senior year. And so I was following you and you scored a lot of goals. Did it, um, did it ever, did you ever consider not playing high school this year? Because I know, I mean, you're a very high level player. And sometimes after a while, uh, top players, you know, they don't want to play high school, afraid of getting hurt or whatever. But you decided yeah. to play. Were you ever um, not going to play high school this year? Um, I mean, I guess some people pretty much didn't want me to play high school because of that. Like, I could be getting injured, but I don't know. It's like, I I love the school. So, like, and I couldn't, like, not play. I just want to see my school, like, do good things. And I think I... I bring that to to FC. Yeah, you definitely do. Um, and you uh, and you play. How how is how do you play in high school compared to how you play in club? What is the difference for you? I, I you know watching you, I, I think you have a much larger role. I see you moving around the field a lot more in high school. But in your words, uh, what's the difference between you playing high school and playing club? Mm. Well, in club, I like to stick mainly to my right wing position, mm -hmm. and also, like the chemistry, we've been playing more with each other at clubs, so we know how to feed off of one another. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can't be going into other people's position. Mm -hmm. But also in high school, we have, uh, in the short time that we've been training, we also have a good connection with each other. So, like, if I come in, they, they like to move around what I do. So, I think that's what uh, brings the team together. Is it, is it, a, it's, it definitely does. Is it a very different challenge? Like, when you play club, everyone's a really good player on the field where you're playing. Where in high school, you know, every team may have one or two star players or so, but you basically have to make do with your classmates. Do you, do you enjoy that that challenge? I I mean, yeah, like in ECNL, there's no such thing as a lower, lower level player. But as in high school, there's always like underclassmen. They're, they're still good, but they, I guess they haven't developed physically and all that so like you try to take advantage but in ECN now it's a whole different thing do you have to be patient more with your teammates in high school like sometimes do you, do you get a little frustrated uh uh because you know obviously you're, you're mentioning the younger players and also some players may not be ECNL but they're still very good high school players might not be as technical but very athletic but anyway do you, do you have to be more patient in high school mm. At times, but usually I don't get frustrated unless I guess um, the main reason is they're not giving a hundred percent. But if I see they're trying, there's no reason to get frustrated. Exactly. I saw a play. I forgot what game it was. It might have been a Westfield game, but you you received the inbound pass. You did a one touch back to the wing. You moved to. Uh, you got the ball back. You did a back heel to the wing again, and then he did a he did a he bent it back to you. And then you you finish it. I think you either tied it or, or put you at one. I mean, did you know oh, that? Was, that was versus um, Yorktown. That was against Yorktown. That's right. That was against Yorktown. I think that that may have been the winning goal. Did you know that mm -hmm. ball was coming back to you? I mean, do you, do you, do you know your high school teammates that well to know that that ball was going to come back to you? I mean, uh, it's a good soccer play to cut it back when you're like on the sideline, and I just wanted to be in a position where if it did come back to me, I could I was able to finish it, but I. As a, he didn't have a good body position. I don't know how he cut it back to me like that, but I mean, it worked. So he did his part. Yeah. Do, do your teammates ever get intimidated by you? The fact that you're, you know, you're such a, you're a top, top player. I believe you were DC United at one point too, weren't you, uh, Edwin? Or mm -hmm. do they, yeah, do you, I was. Yeah, does that ever intimidate your teammates that you're like, hey, man, just relax and play your game because they, they don't want, they want, they don't want to let you down? Mm hmm. I'm not sure they're intimidated, but uh, they respect me to a certain point where they, they I guess they give a little bit more effort while I'm there because I, I do push them. And I mean, by now they push themselves and I don't even have to like talk to them anymore. 
Yeah. Well, your coach is uh, Joe Harrop, I believe. Is that right, Adam? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And he's been there for, I think, seven or eight years. He took the team to a state tournament back in, I think, 2016 or so. They got, I believe they got to the final. Uh, what, what is his coaching style? I mean, he's all about, like, um, he's also putting in 100%. His his tactics, they, they always work. It's a different with every team. We always watch film on every team, such as, same as any other team. They watch film on us. Everyone watches film, but um, his tactics, it's basically the same thing with uh, certain teams. Like, if they would like to play long balls, like, they want to build out the back, it's it's the same. We just have to transition regarding uh, how they play. Yeah. Is, is, is the coach going to be tough on you guys? Or what, what's his relationship with the players? I mean, the bond we have with Coach Harrop and the rest of the coaching staff is really good. Um, he's the same way as I am. Like, we're only going to get frustrated if the player isn't giving 100%. But that, that's not the case with our team now that we're in the middle of the season. Yeah, it's getting to be exciting. So, you know, if uh, I think everyone thought you guys were going to be good this year. I heard you guys are going to be tough. And I think a lot of it because they knew you were coming, they knew you were coming back. Uh, did, you, did, you, did you think at the beginning of the year, because you guys have had a tough schedule, you guys would be uh, six wins and one tie at this point? I mean, it's what we wanted. I'm not sure if we expected to be <laughs> uh, this good so far out the season with having an undefeated season. But, I mean – we're we're happy with how we're going. We're we're still not where we want to be, which is uh, in district, regional, and so far. But so far, we're we're doing good as of as of now. Yeah. As a team, what, what do you guys think you can do a little bit better? I mean, obviously, every team can get better, but in particular, mm -hmm. what do you guys think you can do to get a little bit to to the next next level? Uh, I mean, there's always uh, things to get better on, but with us, it's we like we like to keep possession. I think every team knows that, but I think like uh, perfecting those small passes. I mean, every detail matters for us, and I think that's a way to get better. But tactically, we we actually like to play off one another and listen to what our coach says. So it's just the minor details that we need to tweak up, and we should be good. Yeah, no, exactly right. Well, as I mentioned, you guys have had a tough schedule uh, thus far. And it's gone really well. Who do you think so far is the toughest team that you played? Mm. A lot of teams have been tough on us. Uh, much games have come down to like a one goal lead. I think uh, Westfield was actually a really good competitive team. They they also had the same play style. So we never like kept the ball almost uh, more than them. It was basically a back and forth game. And it was just good comp competitive play and that those are the games we want to play so I, I think Westfield but a lot of a lot of teams have been been like that to us we've only been winning some games by one which I think I think we could do better at but yeah I think Westfield had a really good showing yeah I mean they tied McLean and I, I remember I talked to Joe Margita and he told me they were they were solid it wasn't like the they, they were unlucky to be there they he said he had a good team and I knew you know McLean had a lot of a lot of players uh, coming back. Do you think those close games will be good for you late in the season? Because it, it's nice to win 4-0, but, you know, in, in soccer, you have to win the close games because it's always going to come down mm -hmm. to close games. Teams are going to be able to prepare for you. You think those those games will, will, do, will, will do you right uh, later on in the season? Yeah, I mean, uh, later on, like in district, every team's going to play differently. Anything can happen such district games. Like, uh, there's no such thing as an underdog for me, but um, anything can happen. Like an eighth seed could be the first seed, but you always got to expect well, anything. To be honest, yeah. When you, when you look yeah. around now, you've like you've played some tough teams. Who are some of the teams that you you look around and think they're going to be really tough that you have not played yet? Mm -hmm. I think uh, plenty of our district games should be tough. I think Lewis. I have a couple of friends on Lewis. Yeah. I know they're good. And Hayfield went also far last season. So, I mean, I'm excited to play them. I'm pretty sure they're excited to play us as well. And it would be a good competitive game for us. Yeah. So, so Edwin, when you, when you play and, you're, and there's other uh, club teammates uh, on the other team, or maybe just guys you know well because they play ACNL and you've seen them over the mm -hmm. years, 
Uh, what is your relationship with them on, on the field? Are you guys better competitors? Do you, do you guys talk uh, good naturedly? Uh, what's your relationship with some, some of the other top players while you, while you play? Yeah, I mean, I have uh, plenty of Arlington friends. I think, uh, yeah, Westfield, I'll give an example, Michael Deslin. Uh, mm -hmm. We we said hi to each other after the game, but during the game, I mean, it's both we're both very competitive. We we like to focus on the game, but there's always like uh, chances inside the game where I guess the ball goes out of play. We say hi to one another, but I mean, it's fun playing playing against uh, people we know. Yeah, do you get messages and texts and uh, uh, Instagram messages from people after after games and 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 just asking what you, what you guys did and about the games? Uh, well, not really. I'm pretty sure. Like as of me, if I guess if I lost to one of my teammates, I, I wouldn't want to like text them. But <laughs> I haven't received any to me personally as well. So I mean, it's just about being competitive. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about the high school rules? Now the fields. First of all, well, the fields aren't always as wide as as you're used to. Um, they have a forty minute uh, halves in the stop clock, and then they have the overtime. Um, you know, if you get a yellow card, you come out of the game. Well, uh, what do you, do you like the high school rules? Is it a good change of pace, or do you wish you just played FIFA rules in high in high school? Uh, I think playing normal rules such as like club would like keep it a consistent level because sometimes you get mixed up between the rules. Yeah. But I mean, as long as you know the rules in high school, then you should be able to play off of that. But I I think personally, I think everyone would prefer like consistent rules such as the FIFA rules to be brought into the high school rules as well. I think the officials would appreciate it too, because I think it, yeah. it confuses them. What about playing in the stadium with, with the bleachers and, and, and loudspeaker? Is that, a, is that a nice change of pace? Mm -hmm. It is. I mean, our our stands, we like our fans. They're our 12th man, mm -hmm. we like to say, but they, they always show up for us. We, are, we also see other schools. Some have more, some have less, but overall, I think everyone just comes and cheers on their – their perspective team. So I think it's good for, I mean, every athlete to be yeah. cheered on like that. Well, Edwin, you're one of the, you're one of the best finishers that I've ever seen at, at, at a young level. You're just, you're really calm. And it doesn't seem like no matter what the situation is, you just take your time and, and you, and you shoot your best shot. Uh, where did you learn that? Was it, is this something you always had or did you, did you, did you role model off a, another player? Uh, well, role models such as, like, Cristiano Ronaldo, that's my favorite player. <laughs> and, like, seeing him under pressure, like, what he does, such as his techniques, like, uh, certain penalty kicks, he takes a breath. I take a breath. I, I like uh, mimicking some of his stuff. But uh, I just try my best to do well under pressure, and sometimes it works. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't play like Cristiano Ronaldo. Your game is... You're, to me, you're you, a little bit more like Messi. Yeah. If, if I had to compare you to just to those two people, you're more, to me, you're a little more like Messi than you are to Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo is like a whole different player, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I like, I guess I grew up a Real Madrid uh, fan, so he and him scoring all those goals made made me one of his. Yeah, or uh, did your parents? Uh, was your father a, a soccer player? Did, did, they, did you uh, watch games at a young age? Uh, yeah, I mean, he didn't play professionally, but he was all, he was still a good player. Uh, he played in Guatemala, came over Ooh. here, and he, uh, I mean, he's the one who taught me and my brother how to play. Hmm. Is he? Oh, it, so uh, are you in the Guatemala pool? Have you played with the Guatemala um, national, like under seventeen or anything? Uh, yeah, I have. I I think the most recent time was last year. I went to, uh, uh, we call it like a cycle. Like mm -hmm. we're, yeah. Yeah. So when you play with the Guatemala kids, do the Guatemala kids in America play much differently than the Guatemala kids that are still there? My guess is they, play, they probably play a more physical game in Central America mm -hmm. than they do here. Yeah, and I think uh, a part in that is the refs. The refs over there, like, uh, are completely different than here. Like you, you expect to get more calls um, here than over there. Mm. So yeah, I think the rest play a bit big role in, in how the physical game is. Yeah. How about the relationship between the Guatemalan kids, the ones that still live there, and the American kids of Guatemalan descent? Uh, is there any tension at all? Do you guys get along great? No, I mean, uh, some 
uh, United States kids have like a language barrier with some of the Guatemalan kids, but it it's always good good um, friendships that are formed over there. Well, I myself already speak Spanish, so I get to like translate between one of, some of them. But overall, we get we get along pretty good. There's not really tension. It's just about making the national team better. Yeah, the Spanish is that much is that different? Like the so if you're from Puerto Rico, uh, I mean if, if you've been in a neighborhood with a lot of Puerto Ricans or maybe uh, um, uh, El Salvadorians, the Spanish is much different. I think uh, yeah, Puerto Rico is I think a lot different than Guatemala, but Guatemala and El Salvador, Honduras, all the like the the Central America is kind of the same. Yeah. Are yeah. you guys, are, are you guys rivals here? Uh, when, when there are kids and club that are from Honduras or, uh, or El Salvador, is there a rivalry for Guatemala or is, are you guys almost like countrymen, uh, countrymen? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like uh countrymen. I mean, we, we sometimes speak Spanish, English. So, I mean, I, I think uh, knowing or having those two languages brings us together. Yeah. Who's your favorite Guatemalan player? Mm, right now, it's got to be Rubio Rubin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so your dad, your your dad taught you out. First of all, is your is your brother older or younger? He's older. He plays for uh, Mary Washington. Oh, awesome! What, what's what's his name? Nelson Castillo. Oh, Nelson! He's a great player. You guys are <laughs> built so differently. He's 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 so like built. Uh, Scott, my my son. My son played against Nelson. I love the way he plays. Yes. Yeah, so, so, but you guys, you guys play very different. He's a he's a classic midfielder, and yeah, yeah and you're an attacker. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So it was just natural the way um, you just kind of gravitated towards those those positions. I think so. I mean, he's just a way better passer, and that's why they stuck him in the midfield. And I think growing up, I've always been on the wing, playing up top. So. I think we both had different career, uh, career paths deciding yeah. where our positions would be. But I think both of our play styles would be the same if he played in my position, I played in his. Yeah, he's a tremendous player too. Uh, it, was, he, was, he, was he tough on you uh, growing up? Did he try to make you tougher or as, as a big brother? Yeah, always. I mean, and also he made me a better player, everything, because he was the one pushing me. He was, he was the one where we, we'd be in our backyard one-on-one -on -one. loser has to do something and no one wanted to lose but having that uh older edge on me i mean he'll he always beat me and yeah it just sucked being being younger than him and him being way much better than me yeah but yeah that's how it was yeah you know nelson you know sometimes you you would think it'd be a disadvantage to be short his body's such an advantage it's like playing against a tree <laughs> stump i mean he's he's so strong and the way he protects mm -hmm. the ball yeah, you know, he's 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 a he's a really um, a good good midfielder. So so uh, you, you you had an older brother, obviously that he was a a big uh, influence on you. Who are some of the coaches that had have, had a big influence on you? Uh, obviously, we talked about your high school coach. What about some of your your important club coaches? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean everyone on the Arlington staff I'm, have influenced to be the player I am. I think Coach Oscar. It was, had the biggest impact because he was the one who brought me on to Arlington. And then him uh, previously playing professional, he was the one helping me. Like, he knows what it takes to get to the next level. And him telling me, like, what to improve on, it meant a lot because that, that's what uh, I'm, that's someone I'm trying to learn from. Yeah. Who did, who did you play for before Arlington? Mm, well, I... I went to DC and then I came back to Arlington. Okay, that's true. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I've yeah. I've always started playing from Arlington since U eight, I think U nine, when first travel started. Yeah. Okay. So since you've it's gone so well, Arlington, I believe you won the national championship as we talked about before. Has has have you ever been tempted to go somewhere else to other teams like Loudoun United or 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 whoever tried to get you to, to join up? I mean, there's always. Uh, like there's always clubs that like want you and everything like uh like a point is like ECNL like Arlington State ECNL there's MLS teams uh reaching out but i mean i had such a good connection with the coaches the players everything i and i guess i didn't want to take that jump mostly because of what we've done here at Arlington and what we continue doing and i think it's a better 
growth for me to stay at Arlington than switching clubs. Yeah, do people ask you a lot about whether they should play ECNL or MLS next? Not people that are on your team and have already been together, but do do other kids ask you uh, what your recommendation is? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they ask me uh, which is better because there's always those questions, which is better, MLS, ECNL. But, I mean, to, to be honest, it, they're both competitive. Some ECNL teams beat MLS teams, but it's always good – Good to play versus one another, but uh, it's sad we can't play against like in a league. Mm. So, so we'd see who who actually would like uh, show show their talents the best. But I think they're both very competitive. I wish. So when my son first started playing travel, he's a little older. Well, he's four years older than you, uh, three years older than you. But um, even before then, everyone was in the same. They had like nine different. Um, uh, classifications or levels and it was just like pro soccer you try to get you try to get you try to get promoted and you try to avoid relegation and so mm -hmm. if you were in division one that was the best team so everyone was in the same league so all the great teams played against each other yeah and then they started messing that up and then i mean i i i know they're trying to create a pipeline for mls teams and 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 i guess ecnl gives other types of exposure but it's very frustrating for fans that that's one of the reasons why i like high school because you know, the best players tend to avoid each other all year long. And you, you go up to New Jersey and you play match fit or whatever. And mm -hmm. now at least, at least in high school, you're playing against each other again. So I actually enjoy that kind of, uh, that, that competition. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger, there's always, I played, uh, I think Arlington played CCL and I think winning state cup was the best accomplishment there yeah. was, but now it's a whole different level. Went to D, uh, Developmental Academy and then yeah. MLS, ECNL. ECNL wasn't even a thing uh, when I was around uh, nine years old, but now the whole the whole thing's changed for us. Yeah, it's it's too bad. Um, what other what other bits of advice would you give to young players when you look at when you look at your development and it's gone really well for you? You've won titles. You've been very competitive in high school, and maybe you'll win a title this year. So you've 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 gotten um, you know pretty much where you, where you wanted to go. What kind of advice would you give to young players? I mean, uh, just hard work. It, it's everything. It's, uh, playing and doing anything comes with hard work. But I think hard work is the difference between doing really good and doing uh, bad. So I think hard work, like doing the extra, extra thing to make you a better player, improving on the details. I, I like to tell my team that the small details is what matters the most in big games. And I think that's what uh, I, I tell younger players, like focus on the small details. You don't need to learn so many new things, such as like professional players like Tony Kroos. You don't see him doing a lot of stuff. You see him doing the simplest things, but he does it perfectly. He doesn't need to. So that's what I, I tell the younger ones. That's that, that's great advice. Um, well, so so uh, Edwin, when you when you when you look forward to the next step, are you, are you thinking about um, you know doing pro? Or are you thinking are you going to play in college? What 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 are your what what are your next goals? I mean, the dream's always going pro, but uh, I think college is is the next step for me. Uh, but I don't know if if I get the chance to play pro, I I, I think I'd take it, but. I, I think uh, college is a is also a high high level, so mm -hmm. it it'd be a good competition for me and getting getting myself better improved to to get to that point. Yeah, well, I'm not going to ask you anything confidential, but what do you, what are you looking for in a college? Uh, I think uh, the coaching staff uh, is a big impact on me. I've talked to a few schools where some like a coach. Uh, I, I enjoy talking to him. I, I see what his plan is, his vision on me. And I think that's what matters most. But also like uh, the campuses, the people around, how how the scenery around looks. But I think everything comes into play, but the most impactful would be the coaches. Yeah. If you had one thing you could improve about, about your game between now and, and college, what would that be? Mm -hmm. I think uh, physicality, there's always room for improvement. No, no matter how big you are, you can always uh, get better physically. So I think that's one part of my game that I'd look forward to improving.
as I as I grow older. Yeah. Well, look, Edwin, this has been great, man. I've always admi- I've always admired you. I don't think I've ever seen you live, but I watched you on NFHS a lot, and I've <laughs> I've seen and posted your highlights. I think I posted more highlights of you than anyone except for my own son. <laughs> 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 and you know, and my, and my son was just because he's my son most of the time. But look, it's, uh-huh. it's, I, I'm really glad you did this. I wish you luck. I I can't wait to see you uh, how you guys do um, this year, and and what 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 are your goals for the team this year? Uh, I mean, same same goes as everyone, putting a banner up in the gym. So hopefully we we make that happen and we, we're going to try our best to to do that. Yeah. Well, look, I think it's great that you you stood, you stood by your high school friends. It would have been easy for you to sit this one out. But uh, I think, you know, playing with playing your senior year, if you're lucky enough to uh, to advance, advance beyond districts and regions. That'd be amazing. And then you got mm-hmm. you got prom and you got. Uh, graduates this is going to be an amazing time in your life and you, you never yeah. forget these next month these next few months this is a, a really amazing time so i just wish you the best of luck and I'm, um, I'm i'm really happy that you did this no thank you thank you for having me on here i i didn't think uh you you'd reach out to me and when i saw that message i i, I couldn't refuse <sighs> I, I thank you well i appreciate it. well you're really good at this a lot of kids that i've talked to have been a little shy about it but you were awesome so uh, <laughs> i think i think you got a a bright future, if not in soccer, but, uh, but definitely, uh, you know, any, anything you decide to do. So it's really been, it's been great. It's been great talking to you. Thank you. You too. Okay. Hang in there, buddy.